Welcome to the best mail of 2004. My top 10 of 2004. We're going to start it off with SoFi, the prophecy. And Matt's Cavalier goes back to his tribal roots. Back to the prophecy. And the throwdowns that you would expect from early Sepator kind of resonated that SoFi twist to it. And... You know, a lot of people swept on the prophecy, and they're like, all right, you know, he's doing his other stuff, but you put this on, and you're going to want to, like, bench press freaking bodies and just chuck them out into the freaking Amazon. And uh, you're going to want to just beat a bunch of freaking ca cannibals down. And, and it's, it's an awesome album. It's so fly. You know, you, all right, let's move on. Number nine, the... A tree you the curse. <laughs> yeah, I, I, have a I have a confession. Oh, I'm just recently giving props to a lot of these me metalcore bands. I'm like, I'm, I'm really, you know, I used to be just like Slipknot and a few other like class, you know, like corn and you know, new metal. I was more new metal, but I'm really feeling metalcore. I'm really feeling metalcore. And uh, so. This is where you see that kind of like, you can feel like this album's kind of like Kill Switch Engage inspirations, you know, like Bleeding Mascara. It's it, it's pretty emo, emo at times, but, you know, right side of the bed. Even, give it some, even if you, even you're not a metalcore fan, give this Atreya album a shot. It's It's good. Uh, <clears throat> number eight, Shadows Fall, The War Within, fourth album for the Bo the Boston Heavy Metal Quartet or group. Uh, they don't need an introduction. You know, they're straight up Shadows Fall metal here. Great tracks, you know, with the, what drives the week, you know. It's like inspiration in your veins. You put this on, it just, it slams. All right, number seven, Inflamed soundtrack to your escape. You know this, this album. Yeah, I fucking love Inflamed. Uh, the vocal from Anders. Um, you know the quiet space, dead alone. Um, you know people diss Inflamed. They're delusional. You know they're just like yeah, they they sell it out. Um, but this. The, the Gothenburg scene and, and what they were trying to do they were trying to make it radio friendly but not to like it's a good album I like soundtrack to your escape I know it gets hate alright Nightwish you know this is um, it's got all the bangers on this one once it's got I wish I had an angel Nemo it's just a really great symphonic metal album you know, Taria to run in with vocals. She's beautiful as ever. Uh, Kill Switch Engage at number five. End of the Heart. You know, just... I'm going to miss Howard Jones. Like, this guy was just like... He knew how to scream and pull you in with the emo stuff. Um, it's a great metalcore album. Number four, we have... Um, Within Temptation, The Silent Forest... Sharon Del, Del um, she just has a beautiful, like, range, singing voice. Um, Jillian, My Heart, uh, the, but, that's my favorite song. But, um, Symphonic Greatness. Number three, Bang and Dead. The system has failed. You know, for some reason, thrash metal in general is just better when politics are heavy and the, the government is just kind of, you know, giving us to, a little bit harder and you want a soundtrack to be like a big middle finger to this, the government. And nobody does it better than Dave Mustaine and Megadeth in the system as well. Um, you know, it's just really gritty, common sense. Uh, government, you know, screw the system album that you put this on and you're like, yeah, and he's, he gets it. He gets this. I would vote this. <laughs> you know, you just want to rebel to this album. Uh, Megadeth rolls. 
All right, number two, Exodus, Temple of the Damned. Um, I just, I couldn't resist, I couldn't just have one thrash metal band. Uh, Exodus, you know, is they're just as great as Megadeth, and I really think maybe I would have put The System Has Failed too, but I think this album deserves more love. Um, Exodus, you know, they're a really great thrash metal band from the 80s, and this this big revival of the thrash with this album, uh, it doesn't disappoint. In number one, White Whale. <laughs> Holy Grail. Macedon. Leviathan. Blood and Thunder. Iron Tusk. Holy freaking heck. Uh, this album is just like, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a life of its own. It's a, it's a, everyone loved this album at the time. It was, it was all the rave. It was, it was a little overplayed at the time, but no, when you look at this was like, this was the most metal album of 2004. Holy crap. All right. I'll see you in 2005. Everyone peace out.